What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and then push the bell for post notifications so that way you know every single time a new video pops up. Today, I think we're just gonna get right into it. A release that's been hit or miss for a lot of people. I really like the colorway and I'm a fan of Lowe's. This is the second OG low that I've actually gotten in the Jordan 1 silhouette. You got the Jordan 1 low OG starfish. I know a lot of people were calling this one the, the shattered backboard low, but I know the color is supposed to be starfish. But what's interesting is this starfish color. It's not the same color of orange as on the other shattered backboards. Where is it at? Is that it? No. So this is the Shattered Backboard 3.0. This one also says on the colorway as Starfish. These two oranges aren't the same. You'll see that the orange on the lows have more of like a reddish tint to it, but these two oranges, the starfish are not the same. So what are we gonna do? I really like the Shattered Backboard 1.0, the OG. And so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this low look like the OG high. So what are you gonna need for this one? You know, as I always do, I prep my customs with acetone. You're gonna wipe down the areas that you're gonna paint or to remove that factory finish. For the black panels, you're going to use some jet black leather dye. So you're probably wondering why the bottle looks like this. Um, so you know the one video where I told you to make sure that you use the little box to make sure that the bottle stays up? I just thought, the dye came in these boxes and I would just take the dye out and have the bottle on my table until I knocked it over 15 times and lost almost all my dye and ruined some tables. What an idiot! Oh, what a loser! What this box actually does is, you've got one side here that shows the label of what it is. On this side, you can actually punch a hole in there. It's perforated. Boom. Such a neat design, Angelus. It's like you have a team of engineers over there just designing and stuff. What had happened was uh, I shook the bottle, then I undid the cap. My ADD got the best of me and I started doing something else. Then I came back to the bottle to use it and forgot that I had already shaken it up and unloosened the cap. And I started to shake it and yeah, dye went everywhere. So that's why it looks like this. For the toe box and the heel. So the heel is already orange. So we don't have to really put a base over top of that one. What we're gonna just do is paint over top of it with some collector's edition shattered orange. Now this is a perfect match to the right shade of orange that you're gonna wanna use. For the medial and lateral panels, in the OG, you notice that the panels are sale and so you have to kind of make your own. So what I did was you're gonna take mostly white paint and then you're gonna mix a little bit of cream now, a little bit of cream will go a long way. So for those black panels, after you've used the jet black leather dye, you're gonna go back over those areas with some black paint. And what that's gonna do is with that jet black leather dye layer sitting underneath this, if you were to scuff your shoes, if you were to get a crack somewhere in the paint, you're at least gonna have that black layer of dye underneath that actually has dyed into the leather. So that way it'll still look fresh and good. And then once we're done, we're gonna use one of my favorites, that flat four coat. Now what this is gonna do is gonna give you a really flat look, but with a protective coating over top of it, just like you would with your other finishers. But this has a scratch resistant protectant inside of it too. So that was kind of like a all inclusive type deal. Okay. I think that's it. I think, I think, I think we're ready to paint.
Day. 